welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmaso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see here on Watchbox Reviews. Email me, tmaso at thewatchbox.com. And today we're discussing a 2019 launch, the Patek Philippe 5231J001, the first of the Cloisonne enamel dial 5230 family. It succeeds the 5131. This is a model in its basic form that launched in 2016, but we didn't get the spectacular Cloisonne dial variant until last year. Let's make up for lost time. The watch is 38.5 millimeters in diameter, and as you can see, it's nice and slender at 10.2 millimeters thanks to the micro rotor automatic. 46.7 millimeters lug to lug with a spacing between the lugs of 20 millimeters. It takes a standard size strap. This 2019 debut looks great on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. You get a real sense of how it fits, flat, flush, easy to slip underneath a cuff of any kind, and I can recommend it for a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference. Now the timepiece features a handsome Patek Philippe factory strap, large rectangular scale alligator leather, high gloss on the top, folded edge with a monotone stitch. You can see calfskin on the underside and Patek Philippe using its pull tab spring bars that allow you to remove the strap with just a tug of your fingernail, no tools necessary. A full filigree style that is wire, Calatrava cross buckle on top, of a single fold deploying clasp, all of high polish, security while donning or remove at bedside. I mentioned this is part of a model line, the 5230, that debuted back in 2016, and it did away with the crown guard profile and the integrated tapered lugs of the 5130. This is a more angular, almost more vintage evocative case. It's sophisticated in its assembly as it uses welded lug construction and it does away with the somewhat controversial crown guard profile of the previous model. The result is a watch that has harder edged appearance, uh, but it also has less visual weight to it than the old 5131. You can see that the integration of the push adjuster for the world time complication, same as ever, and a simple Patek Philippe Calatrava cross on the crown. Now let's talk a little bit about the dial because that is the raison d'etre for this watch. As you can see, the bezel profile is conical and hard, giving way to a dial that features 24 principal cities for the 24 principal time zones of the world. You set your current city or time zone of reference up at 12 o'clock, and you can see right now, it is 9.15 p.m. in London. And I know this because I look at the 24-hour reference ring, which moves counterclockwise. I look at each city, and then I look at, I, look, I move my eye counterclockwise to look at the hour adjacent. And so I could see, for example, that it is 1.15 in Dubai, or that it is, for example, 5.15 in the morning in Beijing. I can read the time in all of the world's principal time zones. But let's say I want to move. Well, this Louis Cotier design system, upgraded by Patek Philippe, allows me to change my reference city. I'm gonna go to Karachi, Pakistan, and the watch does all the math for me. Now let's talk about the art elements. We've talked about the engineering. That is the world time function. Let's talk about the center dial. We have a view of the Atlantic with the primary continents of North America, South America, Europe, Central Asia, and Africa. It is done in cloisonne enamel, which features up to 20 firings at 800 degrees centigrade, but also the use of small cloisonne, or gold wires, to create the image of the continents. These are application watches from Patek Philippe, which means in order to buy one, you have to pony up, yes, but you also have to be approved from the Stern family themselves, the controllers of Patek Philippe, to buy the watch, which is to say production is constrained both by artisanal capacity and by willing permission. Art on the dial side and artistic craft on the reverse side. Caliber 240 HU Heure Universelle, a timepiece that is powered fundamentally by the Caliber 240, a micro rotor launched in 1977. It's a micro rotor so that you have the big open vista of a manual so you can see everything, the thin case profile of a manual so the watch is slender, but yet the convenience of the automatic with a 48 hour manual, or I should say automatic winding power reserve courtesy of the 22 karat micro rotor. It uses ceramic rotor bearings for reduced drag and improved efficiency as well as longer maintenance intervals. You can also see that there is a balance beating way at 21,600 vibrations per hour, but we have innovations. Six position adjustment, giving deviation no place to hide, and a free sprung gyromax style architecture, but with a spiromax anti magnetic silicon hairspring. The watch pivots on 33 joules, and as you can see, everything is hand finished inside a case with a 
Water resistance of 30 meters. The timepiece featuring mirrored englage on the edge of every bridge as well as in the jewel and screw countersinks. Engine turned perlage on the base plate. All screw heads black polished with chamfered slots and circumference. And then you can see true abrasive wheel, not stamped Cote de Genève, perfectly aligned across the bridges. The watch has a guaranteed precision from the factory of no worse than minus three plus two seconds per day. That is what the six position adjustment, the Spiromax silicon hairspring and the Patek Philippe seal means in this day and age. World time with the world on your wrist. Email tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.